So this Photoshop tutorial is only a sample video showing you bits and pieces of the entire tutorial that you can locate on masterflash.net uh, where you can find source files and the entire tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this roll out for a little bit. Let's make some fire. All right. So for this one, I know what we're going to do at first. I haven't decided if I'm going to uh, continue and do something a little bit extra for this one. Most likely cases, yes. Uh, but it's something that uh, we'll put a little bit of work into. It will uh, basically add on to the length of this tutorial because creating this fire doesn't really take that long. So if you want to uh, start with this at first and use the uh, masterflash.net logo, feel free. I've included that inside of the source files right here. All right. So uh, basically what you're looking at is pretty much a little bit of some flames that we create. And really all we do is just apply some filters and uh, use the smudge tool to create this effect. And got some cool ways to show you how to do this. And usually I don't plan out certain colors, but for fire, uh, the several times that I've used it, I found that using the same color scheme every single time always looks the best. And obviously, if you wanted to create some different color fire, or fire, then uh, obviously you could do that. All right, so uh, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and get rocking on this. What I'm going to do is just going to come up here to uh, new and open this one up. I'm going to set this at 600. Actually, going to set the height at 500. And DPI at 150 sounds good. If you set this up to uh, 300. Um, when we go about adjusting our levels and things like that on the filters, just make sure that you adjust your filters a little bit higher than what I'm setting them at. All right. And of course that goes for bigger images as well. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and hit okay. And to fill this background color, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit shift backspace and I'm going to select black from the uh, use contents up here. Fire will always look better on a black or dark background. All right. Okay, so for starters, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and bring in this layer from the Master Flash logo of mine. And I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag this into here. All right, go ahead and reattach that. All right, so what I'm going to do is with this just kind of how it is, what I'm going to do, what should we do? I'm going to actually size this up. Control T, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Back, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than that. Be able to play with some flames a little bit more. All right, so once you size that up, I'm going to go ahead and, oops, not do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, duplicate this layer. And I'm going to duplicate it, one, by either right-clicking on it, duplicate layer, or you can just hit Control J. All right, and with this top layer, just go ahead and take this out of play, and let's go ahead and grab this other layer down here. And we need to add a couple of uh, style effects. So I'm going to come down here and grab Outer Glow. I have one drip off this. There we go. Add. Yeah, so I'm going to stick with that. That is the end of this sample Photoshop tutorial. To view the entire tutorial and get your hands on source files, head towards masterflash.net. I hope you enjoy it.